the Joe Rogan experience. Yeah. I have a theory. I don't give myself any credit when I have these talks when things are going well. Like, it's good. It helps. You right. know, like, but if I can be in a tense moment and get out of it, Right. Where I would have then I give my, then I'll be proud of myself. Yeah, that's the thing about all that motivational speaking stuff, right? Like, yeah, it's like the guy who's doing all the motivational speaking. If he's pulling up in a Rolls Royce and he lives in a big mansion, it's like, yeah, you're enthusiastic. Look, everything's going great. How how are you if someone takes all this stuff away? Then then it becomes right. Like, can you can you be stoic? Can you be at peace when you're broke? And you're by yourself right. in some one bedroom apartment somewhere. Can you can you do it all over again? Get that's, back that's, to the suburbs. I, not <laughs> <laughs> You know, could you imagine if someone told you Dan Cook was the first one I ever heard talk about this, so I'll give him credit for that. Uh, he said I would not never want to try to do stand up again. I don't think I could do it. Like that it is so hard to do that I I would never want to start and do it again. Did you ever think like what it would be like if you had to start again? Like right now, you don't, you have zero jokes. You've never done stand up, but somehow or another, you have this vague memory of the grind that it takes to become an actual professional. I think I do it hard. I think definitely, definitely, right? Definitely, definitely. But that's because you already know, right? You already know you could do it. It would be a totally different thing. Right, that's, right. That's oh, you have stupid that now. Question. Now that I think about it, fuck Dane Cook. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding, Dane. Don't get upset. But I'm saying, if you if you think about it, like that doesn't even make any sense because of course you would know that you could make it, so it would be way easier. Even if you just started, oh, I can't believe I'm 21 again doing stand up. This is ridiculous. Are you are you 21 again, or yeah. you just are you are? And you'd have to start from scratch. I just do it to go back, get younger. <laughs> but then once you made the decision, you would in, unless you live in some bizarro world where you're allowed to live two lives, you would never even have memory. Right, you'd right. be 21. That's what like, I. Are you? Would you? Would, all I'd have to do is just say yes, and yes. I'd be 21 again. It's a stupid fucking question. It's maybe he, maybe you have it a little <laughs> off. Maybe he'd be like, no, I said this and that. Mm. Uh, I don't think he thought it through. You, you said something a minute ago, and I. Sh that's when I should write shit down. I was going to ask you. Was it about the food thing? No, no, no. What were you just talking about before the? the we're food talking thing? about discipline, like hard asses, and then. Um, then we got to like how difficult it would be to start over doing I think anything like if you said that to a brain surgeon You want to start from scratch start from you know, right right after you graduate high school You want to take it from day one freshman year of college and be like, oh <laughs> Just think about getting through no Fuck that did you ever think of like I know two things I would have done like before when did you start stand-up? Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Like 88. I was 21 did you, is there a job you, when you were in high school, did you think, you thought you knew what you wanted to do maybe for a living? Not really. My, my number one option was teaching Taekwondo, which I already was doing. That's what I was doing. Oh, so you were already, oh. Yeah. But I didn't, I didn't want to fight anymore, and I didn't think that, um, I didn't think that there'd be like a real future in me teaching. I didn't really like teaching everybody. I only liked p teaching people that were super enthusiastic because I was I was young at the time like when I was first started teaching on my own I was 19 I was teaching at Boston University I, I had my own school for and a you while. were 21 I was 19 Wow yeah and in Boston yeah in Boston yeah I, I taught I taught a, a pass-fail a class like they can get credit for it and I would say all you have to do is just show up and you get an A just try just trying to get an A. It has nothing to do with your physical performance because the idea that everybody's starting on the same page is ridiculous. Right. Some of these people have like serious athletic backgrounds. Some of these people never worked out a day in their life and they thought it'd be fun to try something new. So the idea of like grading them against each other, I said, I'll give you guys all an A. And are you, and, and are you, are I was you their a, age. Are you allowed to do that? Yeah. As yeah, a they, teacher, like they, they would. Nobody, the, the worst they could do is fire me and I didn't care because it only paid like 200 bucks a month or something. It, was, right. it wasn't expensive. It wasn't a, a valuable thing. But it was a prestigious thing. It's like I'm teaching at a, a university yeah. and I'm 19. Did most know? people get the A? Everybody got an A. No, I mean, like did anybody not people, show up? Or? All the times I taught, I taught for a couple of years, one or two people just didn't show up. You know, you're, you're always going to have that. Yeah, yeah. One or two people just say fuck, they fuck off. But I just made it fun. You know, I was their age. And so we just, we did a lot of cool shit and kick pads. And I taught them how to turn their hip into stuff and how to, you know, how to get power and things. You can see them. It's a, there's a, something very enthusiastic about someone, regardless of what their physical ability is, getting a little bit better and seeing it. 
you know, even if they start from nothing and then you see just, yes, yes, you're getting it, you're getting right. it. And then see them beam like you, this, that, that to me was what I was into. What I wasn't into is people that needed to be motivated. They, they just didn't, they couldn't, they would, they just half-assed things. They weren't enthusiastic. They were distracted. Maybe they were talking too much. Like you could do all that stuff another time, but if you want to get good at this, there's only one way. You have to be really interested in getting good at it. You got to be really focused on all the things you're yeah. doing right or wrong. Whenever I see a comedian, like you go back a year to a club, you saw a comedian, he's a newer comedian. If he has been going up at least twice a week and it's 52 weeks later, right. it's fun to see that type of improvement. Oh, yeah. And you're like, wow, like, yeah, maybe I've gone up, what, 300 times since you've been here? Yeah. But you can tell if they haven't. <laughs>